Hey guys, the objective of this video is to consider the centroids of composite shapes. So the first, of it, the first bit of theory we'll go through is we're going to go through splitting up complex areas into a number of simple shapes. So what we have here is we've got some L-beam and you can see that it's not going to be obvious where the centroid of this beam is just because um, it's not a uniform shape. If we, ha if we filled this in and made it into a big rectangle, it's pretty obvious that the centroid will be right in the middle. But if we've taken out this point, then it's a bit harder. So what we're going to be doing with examples like this, so in civil engineering, there are a lot of shapes that we're going to have to break down into uh, easier shapes to deal with. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to split this into two rectangles. So there's, this, there's several ways we can do it, but one way is just by, we can just draw a line across here. And now we have two rectangles. So for, with these rectangles, so I'll just rub out this here. So with these rectangles, we know where the centroids of both of these rectangles are just by common sense. The centroid of this is going to be right in the middle of this shape. And the centroid of this is going to be in the middle of this shape. And with these two, with these two locations, we have a way of working out the actual um, centroid of the entire shape as a whole. So that's what we're going to be doing in this example. So again, we have these two, we have these two formulae. We have um, this expression for x bar and y bar both being the same we just have um, the distance from some arbitrary axis multiplied by the area of the shape 